The developing story we're following tonight, the iconic Holy Land Cross in Waterbury vandalized, painted with hateful graffiti, curse words, and what appears to be pentagram symbols. We're glad you're with us tonight, everybody. I'm Darren Kramer. I'm Ann Nyberg. The symbolic landmark stands high over the brass city, and this isn't the first time vandals have targeted it. News 8's Jackie Slater is live tonight in News 8 Control with a hopeful message that the community is holding on to. Jackie. And Darren, Boy Scout troops and other community organizations and schools from around the country and world travel to the site to do projects and learn the history behind Waterbury's Holy Land. But just as these people step up to help give it new life, others are continually looking to do it harm. High atop a hill overlooking the city of Waterbury, the Holy Land Cross is a landmark rich in history. It's beautiful. You know, and everybody from around here and from miles around just love it. It's just a highlight of when you're driving on 84. But today, the cross sits defaced, targeted by vandals sometime over the holiday weekend. Explicit graffiti and images of pentagrams painted near the base, leaving many people to wonder who would do such a thing. It's been through so much, Holy Land. You know, it was beautiful when we were young and then went through a lot of uh, trashing as well. Well, it's a, it's, it's a little heartening. But, Bill Fitzpatrick uh, is in charge of volunteer efforts to restore the once vibrant Holy Land. He says the site has long been a target for troublemakers. I usually know the ones that are looking for trouble because they get out of their cars and they run right up here to the top. They're up to no good. Back in its heyday, Holy Land attracted more than 40,000 visitors a year. It fell into disrepair more than 30 years ago and previous efforts to restore it have proven unsuccessful. The property is now owned by Waterbury Mayor Neil O'Leary and local businessman Fritz Blasius, who have pledged to clean it up. This whole mount, it, it just tells a story. It's, it's, not a, it's a religious site, but yet, like, you walk up and they have the, uh, the Beatitudes are there. You have the Ten Commandments are all written down. But this latest chapter of the story has many people wondering why the vandals keep on striking. Security cameras are in place at the main gates, but Fitzpatrick says they get in other ways. The message from Waterbury tonight, a strong one. I hope we catch them. I hope we can get them up here to maybe clean it off themselves and, and just let them put on notice and hope they realize this was a, a, a wrong thing to do. Sad, very sad. You know, it's such an icon for the area. It really is. And Waterbury needs something like that. And I just spoke with Don McPartland, who is on the board and legal counsel to the Holy Land organization. He said they are discussing options to have live web cameras broadcasting the cross that people can watch from all over the world. That footage would be recorded and stored and provide some extra security. Live in News 8 Control, Jackie Slater, News 8.